This impossible object is an optical illusion that works because of the ambiguity of drawing 3D objects on 2D paper. One way to draw a 3D cube on a 2D surface is like this, which is called the isometric projection. We are essentially holding it at a 60 degree angle. But drawn like this, the central point represents both the front corner and the back corner of the cube, and that's why the impossible triangle works. Take three lines within the cube separated by right angles. One starts at the front corner, goes along this front side, the next line traces along the receding side, and the third perpendicular line goes straight down. When drawn like this, we can claim the third line connects at the front corner, making the impossible triangle. In reality, the third line lands at the back corner, separated by a distance not visible at this angle. This is an isometric projection of a 4D hypercube, and we can use it to make a similar impossible object. This time, four perpendicular lines can fit inside. Again, there is a central point that represents two different corners. When drawn like this, we can claim the fourth line connects at the front corner, making the 4D impossible object. In reality, the fourth line lands at the back corner, separated by a distance not visible at this angle. I've constructed it here. Each of the four line segments looks a bit like an impossible triangle, but put together, they make a structure that appears to start and end in the same point in 4D space in a way that shouldn't be possible. This impossible object is an optical illusion for a 4D creature that works because of the ambiguity of modeling 4D objects in 3D space. If you wish to learn more, there's a longer version of this video on my YouTube channel, and I've written a whole book called A Guide to Making Friends in the Fourth Dimension, available at tubies.com.